Nick Nurse was introduced as the new head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers yesterday. He was asked a question about, do you think you could take this current roster if Harden stays further than the second round? And he gave a very long-winded answer that was apparently too long-winded for somebody who wanted to hit the nail directly on the head. This is the exchange. I would imagine from day one we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, and that we're gonna try to attack that. You know, we're gonna we're gonna have to face it, and we're gonna have to rise above it. That's that's the mentality part I think that you're gonna have to take, right? And then there's all kinds of other things like, can can we tactically do things? Can we adjust on the fly? Can we improve as the season goes on? And that's that's you know, that's a goal of a coach is as you go, you want to keep getting better, and then. You get to the playoffs in your one team, and that's that's a two month long journey, and you got to be better at the end of those two months. And do you want James Harden round. back? Pardon me. Do you want James Harden back? James Harden's a great player. But that yeah. didn't answer the question. Well, I would say this is that um, uh, James has a decision to make, and um, I'd be very happy if he came back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, man, just jumped in. Like, didn't answer <laughs> the question. Well, give him a second to answer the question. Do you want Harden or not? Uh, well, James is do you want thing. Harden or not? Well, what I'm saying about James do is... Do you want Harden or not? <laughs> James is a really good... He's got a decision to make. Yeah, and, he like, did get the answer. <laughs> it's like Tom Cruise. Like, did you order the code red? Did you order? <laughs> like, oh, my God. You can't handle the truth. That's amazing. He asked him a question. He gave one sentence, and he jumped down his throat. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> he didn't answer the question. By the way, we cut off, we we cut down wow. the the initial Nick Nurse soundbite. It went on, it started about thirty seconds yeah, before, before we came uh, into the soundbite. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, we don't need these platitudes, Coach. Do you want Harden or not? Well, he's got a decision to make. Oh, you're not answering the question. Well, well, <laughs> I'll tell. You, I'd be happy if he comes back. That now there you go. Incredible. <laughs> Ends justify justify the means. Although the question did sound very. Henry Winkler, like when I was asking him about Barry about a year ago at this time, and he says, "Do you know Patrick Mahomes?" He interrupted me. (laughs) What if you would have went? (laughs) Just talk about Barry. Do you know? (laughs) Do you know Patrick Mahomes? That's true, Rich. If you had just stuck to Barry, Mahomes and Winkler would have never. Maybe so. He he wanted an answer to what was on his mind, which is, "Do you want James Harden?" (laughs) Well, he's a very good player. He didn't answer the question. I want answers. So that reporter should not have his own talk show. Or the reporter got the answer, which is I'd be happy to have him. Make me happy if he stays put. Like Robert Ori said in all this, uh, in an interview with Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes, if Embiid had just taken his big self down low, the Sixers would be playing in the final. So can Nick Nurse do that? Dude, can he make M- Embiid understand how big he is uh, and uh, and yeah. how much better? Embiid be- versus Jokic right now? Oh, come on. That would have been a dream. We're talking Stanley Cup with Biz Nasty, Paul Bissonette, in a moment. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. You know how I feel about this situation. If I'm the Sixers, I'm, hope- I'm, I'm the same way as the Packers were about Rogers. Yeah, you're hoping James. I'm, I'm just hoping you just yeah. say I'm going into a darkness retreat and I'm coming out and I I I have an intention to play for somebody else. That's a lot of loot, man. Give me the loot. But he wants more than just you know a one year pickup. He wants a multi year contract. Oh, yeah, you ready to give that to him? Hundo, at least. Or do you just tell Nick Nurse you got Embiid? We'll figure out some other players around him and let's go to work we'll yeah. figure out somebody else a two-man game we'll F- max will be a two-man game until until further notice we'll get you fvv fred van vliet f v squared <laughs> right brilliant i'd love to have harden but like i said that is a lot of money for a lot of years and i don't think that 37 year old james Harden's going to resemble 38 year old lebron james so. fred, 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 <laughs> fred van vliet f v squared F.E. squared. That's your guy. Oh, that's just like, you know, new cell reception. <laughs> new phone. Who this? Brilliant! That's it. <laughs> and uh, and Harden, in my mind, in Philadelphia should be. Thank you very much. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.